Summer's heat is fading and we're moving into the fall season where it's nice and cool, the leaves are falling, the last or the first of the fall fests are starting and um, I've had a vacation from the Family History Project for a, a little while so we should start getting back into more in-depth uh, articles about genealogy and different topics and uh, we're going to work on that a little bit more as it cools off and have more time to do it and uh, just enjoying this nice weather uh, it's beautiful outside and uh, we've got a lot of photos I've taken of cemeteries all over Morgan County, Benton County. Uh, I haven't posted yet. Uh, I took 700 and some pictures so I've got a lot. <laughs> so I had a really good time doing research and uh, enjoying our family reunion the first Sunday in August at Stover. So. We'll have some news forthcoming of events for this month uh, and, and for October. We're working on planning something for uh, Halloween. Um, so we're going to work on those and get back to you and uh, have a great fall, everybody. It's a Family History Project magazine. We're signing off. Bye. Hello everyone and welcome back to Genealogy 102. Today we're going to be working a course in Legacy Deluxe version 9 and today we're going to be learning about the Media Gallery. The Media Gallery is where we go to attach photographs, documents, audio and video recordings, websites, um, any kind of multimedia that you can think of. Um, so to our individuals. So to get to the Media Gallery, we want to click on this icon here where it says Media Gallery. Click that once. That'll bring up your Media Gallery. You can see various things in here already. Now the types of things that we can attach here, if you click on Add Media, we can add photographs, we can add sound clips, we can add video clips, we can add documents, meaning PDF files. Internet websites, we can scan a picture from here. So we're going to add a, add a picture. So we'll click on picture. We will uh, we will navigate to where our photographs are located on our hard drive. Select the picture that we want. Uh, let's do this one. Open. This window will open. This is display picture with the picture you selected in it. Here there are various things you can do. You can you can flip the image. 
you can adjust different attributes, brightness, contrast, sharpness. Okay. You can rotate, you can change it to grayscale if you want, or you can set it as your desktop wallpaper. But what all we're going to do is just add in caption. I had a date, I know this was 1958. And any other information you want to add? Hold on. And I believe this was in Swope Park. Okay. Click on close the image. The image will appear in our media gallery for the individual we've chosen. Uh, if you want to take another look at it, just double click on it and it will open it up here. You can zoom in, take a look at it, close. Okay, and just, just as a reminder, the things you can add here, photographs of course, sound and video, PDF files, internet website, hyperlinks, we can scan a picture. You can also, if we have a picture that we would like to share with another individual, uh, we'll do this one since my dad was holding me here. We're going to right click on it, copy, close this media gallery, go to the person you want to attach it to, go to their media gallery, right click, paste from legacy clipboard, and it will, it will add the photograph to this person's media gallery. Very easy way to share. There I am. Very easy way to share photographs. Um, so, and you might want to ask, why would we want to save uh, audio, video, and website uh, information in our media gallery? That is because later on, when we get to more advanced, we're going to show you how to create uh, interactive CDs containing sound, video, PDFs, internet, internet websites uh, for your for your person to make their life history come alive. So that's it for now. Next time, we'll continue on with Legacy Deluxe version nine. See ya. <laughs>